guys. So welcome back to How to Feed a Loon. I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. The Loon. <laughs> the Loon. Folks, today we are making <gasps> such a delicious dish. One of my all-time favorites. It is really, really, really. So good. So good. So flavorful. It's an Italian-American Italian. classic. It's just incredible. This <laughs> is our... Chicken, chicken piccata. piccata! It's just amazing. Not chicken piñata, chicken piccata. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would, that would really be full of it if it was a chicken piñata. <laughs> anyway, so we started off, we've already got these Aren't beautiful these gorgeous? chicken breasts um, already made. Those so, are golden perfection. Cooked to perfection. So, Love so it. the a really key, really important thing about chicken piccata is that you want your chicken cutlets really yes. thin. So when yeah. you're at the grocery store, I gotta say this, that you a lot of times you'll find chicken tenders. I don't really like using chicken tenders because it's got that cartilage down the middle yes. that just it's chewy and it's it's they're very, very they're thin, but they're also like too skinny. So I go ahead and, and try and find some some stores you can find chicken breasts that are not you know too big you know um, and um, you know they're so good though. <laughs> Why are you trying to make a joke? A joke I can waiting see. to happen. But anyway, we like the smaller breasts. breasts. Um, but anyway, you can find those. But what we do to really help get them nice and thin is why don't you explain? How yeah. So what we did was we had the four chicken breasts and each one we slipped into a nice Ziploc bag, a big Ziploc bag. Just a big freezer. Yeah. Z- freezer bag. bag. Bag, and then what Bagging. we did is we just pounded it and pounded and pounded it with, but a, with, with a, a mallet. Meat, a meat mallet, yeah. Turned on its side because you don't want to leave those little inventions. Well, you don't want to. You, you're, the goal here is to get it thin, but you don't want to pulverize it so it's right. supposed to exactly. fall apart. So, you know, hit it kind of gently. Yeah, and stretch it out a little bit. Pull it out. Yeah. Do it kind of at an angle like that. It <laughs> helps. And then them. after that, what we did is we liberally salt and peppered well, each side. We took it out of the baggie and then, yeah. And well, then, duh. Okay. <laughs> and then we salt and peppered each side, and then after that, we dredged them in about a quarter. You put like a, a cup of flour, mm-hmm. and we dredged each side, got them nice and coated. Mm-hmm. And then we you brought, shake, you shake, shake off, off the, the excess, excess, and then we brought them over here to our skillet. And we had about a quarter, a, uh, two quarters, what, how much oil in there? A quarter cup. You're of the fry oil. daddy. A quarter cup of vegetable <laughs> in, a, in, a, in a pretty large skillet over medium high heat. You heat that olive oil up until it's you know shimmering yeah. and then you add two at a time. Yeah, you don't, don't overcrowd your pan. You never overcrowd the pan. And then you flip it onto the other side and make it till it's nice and golden brown and then you flip it over and do the same on the other side. <laughs> you cook it for four minutes on one side and then you flip it over and, and don't worry at, the, at this point, it depends on how thin you get them, but they may not be completely cooked through. Don't eat it at this point even though it looks delicious. Yes. It will finish cooking when we're gonna do it right. in this amazing sauce. So exactly. that's good. We got a that's little good. more to cook on these. So these these look incredible, but I mean, they're, we're not done. It's all, yeah. folks, it's all about the sauce. It's all about the, the sauce. sauce. The okay. sauce. The so sauce. now, in the same pan that we cooked these, because it's got this beautiful crust from where it was cooked, yes. there's so much flavor in that. Flavor town in if there. If you have excess oil, uh, you want to probably discard that. Well, not probably. Discard that. And now we are going to build the sauce. And this is so easy. You're not going to believe how quick it is. such a good sauce. Here. I have this over medium um, high heat. You kind of want it cranking. That's going to sizzle. This is a half a cup. Uh, chicken stock. This is a half a cup of dry white wine. Mm. You know the rule, if you wouldn't drink it, don't cook with it. It's <laughs> a good rule. Yeah. Um, don't use We it. never have any to cook with. I know because we're always drinking it. But no, we all, I've, I have a little on the reserve. And then this is um, some lemon juice. Like I said, Lemon juice is super important. And then I've got some fresh lemon zest. zest. Ooh, yes. I just used my little zester and, and get the, you know, the, the zest of a lemon. I love That's it. wonderful. Yes. Okay, so now what we are going to do is we're going to just let this come to a, kind of like a nice, strong simmer. Oh, yeah. yeah. And this right here, what I'm doing, this oh, is called... Oh, you're deglazing. We're deglazing. <laughs> and that's just using this liquid to, to break up and... Um, Get all yeah. of that crust that, that stuck to the bottom of the pan from the glorious meat. Yes. So I have flavor. to deglaze every at the end of every day. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I won't even comment on that. All right. We're going to let this come to a simmer, and it's only going to simmer for about two minutes. Oh, the sauce, the chicken. guys. It's so, so good. Oh, all right. We're back. Smell is so amazing. Okay. Oh, wait. So now. <laughs> what am I? I was like, where are we going? <laughs> Always an adventure in the kitchen. Okay, so now this has gone for about two minutes. Um, it's just been a nice sim- simmer. 
that you know cooks the alcohol out of the wine. It reduces it a little bit. It's so beautiful. I mean, what we've spent how many you know minutes making this now? So now I'm just going to add oh, this chicken yes. back into this beautiful sauce. Sounds good. It does sound good, and it smells amazing. Okay. And I'm going to prepare myself over here. To eat. To eat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. So, all right. So now we're going to, what I do is I just put this in here a couple of times, uh, or I flip it a couple of times just to make sure it's soaking this up. And um, can I tell something to the people at home? <laughs> I don't think I have a choice in that, so go ahead. <laughs> so I learned something. Say, this is going to be only about three minutes. I just have an interesting little, you know, tip. So when you're, you're setting your plates uh, for dinner and you have your steak knives or knives, when you set your knives, always put them in towards the plate because back in the Middle Ages, the, if you set your knife that way with the edge out, that meant a sign of aggression. Isn't that fascinating? <laughs> really just incredible. Okay, I, You know, it's, I'm not all beauty. There's some brains back here. <laughs> okay, now you can put your notepads down, you know, from writing feverishly that, that little tidbit of knowledge we're going to let this continue cooking this is cooking beautifully it's fantastic and then we're going to come back oh. and we're going to add one of our favorite things in the world yes capers, capers. i love it okay yeah. we're back okay oh my gosh you guys it smells amazing smells so amazing so it smells right. like chicken piccata it does and there's nothing much better smelling than that not john cicada <laughs> chicken piccata <laughs> with so many people. I'm aging myself is what I'm doing. Yeah. Well, <laughs> okay, so I'm adding these beautiful uh, capers. I mean, add to your own liking. Capers are, they're briny. They just have this they're delicious peppery, flavor. They're delicious. Oh, I love it. I they're love it. so, so good. And they're, they're just quintessential for chicken piccata. Those, okay. That looks amazing. It really does. I mean, does that not look incredible? I feel okay. like it's missing something, though. Well, your belly. <laughs> no, okay. something else. Yeah, there is that a, there adds a little bit of a, like, okay. uh, indulgence to it. Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> of course, you're right. It's butter. Yeah. So, um, but that's what gives it. I mean, it gives it the silky, incredible flavor. So, what I do is I just after it's off the heat, just add that in. Yes. I also like to at this point, um, you know, you should always taste your food as you go, but add just a little bit of salt oh. to the to the sauce. Now, you want to stir that until that yes. melts. Yes. Yes. Oh, look at that. It just makes the most succulent, amazing sauce. Oh, it is so now, good. I'm just moving it all around, people. Yeah. And that'll just kind of also, it'll thicken the sauce just a little bit, and then it's just, it's luscious. Now, this um, is fantastic when you serve with oh, some fresh linguine. linguine. But it's yes. also really, it's lovely to serve with just some steamed vegetables, like some broccoli. Of some whipped mashed potatoes. Oh, I'm so hungry. <laughs> you keep talking like are, that. Are really, really good. Okay, we are ready mm. to plate this. So, All right. I mean, that so, is beautiful. So, so now, let's switch places, let's shall we? Let's just do a switcheroo here. Okay. Okay, let's put Thank that right you. there. I'm going to, I mean, that chicken. Oh, I wanted to tell you. This is this is kind of important. So what I, I did this earlier, a, a test. Like I said, your chicken may not be completely cooked uh, through when you do it the first time. That's okay. The, when it's cooking and it's simmering in the sauce, it should cook through. Now, these were nice and thin, so I knew that they were cooked perfectly. But the way you can test that is uh, just get a sharp knife, knife and just stick it in there. And if, if clear juices come out, it's cooked through. If you've got really thick uh, cutlets, which you shouldn't, um, but if you do, then definitely do this test because yeah. that's when it's going to... Uh, yes. You don't want to be serving uncooked chicken. Yeah. Uh, no. Come on up closer to me. Okay, or, I know, I know. Enough talking. Yeah. And we'll, uh, yeah. Let's give you a couple. <laughs> because I know. I know. I love it. It's so beautiful. Now, of course, it's all about the sauce. Yes. The look beauty. at that. Mmm. That's so good. Let's do a little more sauce. Oh. Well, who's another famous person that rhymes with chicken piccata? Neil Sadaka. <laughs> I don't know. I forgot. Uh, Chris, wait. You got to throw on some oh, yeah, yeah. lovely... Oh, yeah. Do a little... Oh, I, like I'm just standing there. What? what I don't know. I forgot him. <laughs> okay. So, anyway, I have to repeat everything because he doesn't... He's too busy coming up with his own hilarious <laughs> jokes. Oh, you guys. This... I love it. I actually just... I just... I know. I almost drip I do it every time it. when you're oh, taking forever give to me eat. some of that. And the love. meat, the chicken is so tender. Oh. This mm. is a magical dish. I love just running it into that sauce. Yeah. I might have to have a little more sauce on this later. Well, you've always been a little saucy. Is it good? Is it literally to die for? 
It is literally to die for. The lemon, the taste is just, it's, it's bright. This is, this is such a great meal to serve on linguine. I know. Um, yeah, um, you could. So what you can do? It's, just on it's that like note, a summer Italian dish. It's so good. It is, but it's good year round. Just oh bright. It's we have so it all bright. the time. But you can you can easily double the ingredients for the sauce because it, the linguine really does soak up that sauce. Yes, it's really good. double it. It's so good. Now <laughs> this is one hundred percent Luna Proof. I had no doubt about that one. All right, I am going to dig in because dig these, in. Oh, the capers aren't they fantastic? Oh. The tapers are, it's just, it, everything is, has a purpose in this dish. Yeah. Now you can get this recipe and many more on howtofeedaloon.com. I think that is in my top, I don't know, it's yeah. in my top yeah. three favorite chicken yeah. dishes of all time. Yeah, it's totally. It's so, so good. What's your other two? Don't make me say that, ask me that. <laughs> too many. But that's definitely one of them. And go to our social media, <laughs> like and share us, tell all your friends. <laughs> if you like How to Feed a Loon, chances are your friends will too, so please share the word. And make chicken piccata! Mm, make it. He always does that. <laughs> it's so good, y'all. All right, bye! Yay, bye! <laughs> hey, everybody! Hi! Now, if you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's right. If you want more <laughs> great Italian recipes, just click right yeah, here. Yeah, click. Just click away. Click and subscribe. Uh, click away. Italian.